like I said last week, I've been having a ton of calls with early stage teams that are just getting started in their carbon removal journey. And I wanted to share another thing that I'm learning from all these calls that I want to help teams get better at. So every time I have one of these calls I open with, I've read your application, I checked out your website, I get the general idea of what you're working on, and I kind of know three or so other companies that are doing something in this space. So what you're working on, I get it. What I want to understand is in the next month, what are your goals? What's the big challenge that's blocking you from just getting to that goal right now? And how can I help? What I'm looking for is a snapshot of where you're at right now. But the challenge is nine out of 10 teams that I talk to, they immediately kind of go somewhere else. They start talking about how they got into carbon removal. They talk about how, like what they've been up to for the last couple of years. They talk about the, the big 10 year vision. Um, and the, the big challenge is that there's too much carbon in the air. And so most of the time on the call is spent talking about something that isn't really around this question of what are you up to in the next month? What's the biggest challenge to get there? And how can I help? So the reason I ask this question is because everybody's got this kind of 10 year perspective, but those that are able to make progress at succeeding at it are able to, to break it down into, into years and quarters and then eventually months. You need to, be able to say what your action steps are. What does it need to do? What does it need to figure out? What does it need to hire for or ask for help for? The reason I ask this is it crops up in other ways. So for example, if you're starting a company and you have, you're, you're on the business side, but you're having trouble finding an engineer, right? The engineers you work with, they're not just in talking to you or they, they don't want to talk. The reason is because what you're talking about is probably just super vague, super big. Engineers like to work on problems and solve problems. And if, if you're not giving them a specific problem, they're not going to jump on it. They're not going to be interested in it. So when I'm talking to teams and we have a good conversation about what they're up to, it sounds something like, you know, in the next month, we want to sign up 10 customers. The problem is we're writing them, but they're not getting back to us. Or in the next month, we want to uh, test out the prototype that we've already built, but we're not sure how to quantify it. And we need to talk to somebody about what measurements we should be taking of that prototype. Your month plan doesn't have to sound complicated. It can be as simple as I've got a meeting set up with a potential co-founder and I want it to go really well. I want to figure out how to talk with them about equity. Great. You don't have to be prototyping. You don't have to be building things. It can be these simple questions, but ultimately you have to be able to break down that, that 10 year vision and just go in and say, here's what I need to do over the next month. And that's it. If you can do that, I'd love to help you. And I think other people around you will start to help you even more. Co-founders, investors, advisors, uh, people you want to hire and, and join your team. They're all going to be able to see what you're exactly doing this next month. And they're going to be able to help you with that. The 10 year vision is just, it's really hard to get people on board with that. There's just so many other companies and ideas that generally sound the same, but we, we really want to get into what is it that you're doing over this next month. So why am I talking about this? My goal is to get the carbon removal industry to gigaton scale removal. The challenge is there aren't enough companies, there aren't enough ideas, there aren't enough people working on how to pull carbon from the air. So rather than just needing to filter out for the things that are working from the things that aren't, what I want is to raise the quality of every company that's working in carbon removal. And overall, this is hard. This is hard stuff. It's hard, like being able to come in and say, here's what we need to figure out in the next month. That means you have that 10 year strategy, at least sort of figured out, but you also need to have thought about the year, the quarter and down to the month. So you want to be prepared for those meetings. So look, getting answers to these three questions isn't easy, but once you do figure it out, your conversations with the investors, potential co-founders, people you're hiring are all going to go so much better. What are you up to in the next month? What's your goal? What's preventing you from just kind of getting there already? And how can I help? So I say this is hard. I mean, I struggle with this too. I've certainly had my fair share of meetings where a person comes in and says, Hey, how can I help? And I go off on a 15 minute discussion about the 10 year vision and everything that needs to happen. And I'm getting better at it myself. So I appreciate if you have any, any tips or if you tried this or you have a, a better way to, to do it. But ultimately I find that if you're able to talk about specifically 
what's happening in this next month, what you need help with, and how this person can help you. Oh my gosh, those meetings can go from an hour to you can get so much done in three minutes. And those are the calls that I love. When a, a team comes in and says like, great, here's what we're up to in the next month, here's our goal. Here's what we're stuck on, and here's how we think you can help. Those meetings, 15 minutes, we just, we knock it out and, and things work really well. So looking forward to having more conversations like this. Again, it's not about just having the, the conversation. It's about this is how you lead a company. You need to be able to talk about what's happening in the next month, where you're challenged, and how people can help. And if you can do that, then you can start to build towards that 10 year plan. But if you can't figure out what to do this month and you can't explain it to anybody, it's gonna be really, really difficult to get to that 10 year vision.